Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Observer 2 uh, 70 millimeter refracting telescope. It's a 70 millimeter refractor which uh, uses two lenses up front on a simple yoke mount. They call it an altaz mount, altitude, up and down, azimuth, left and right. So a really simple system for uh, using for daytime or for astronomy. There's no alignment necessary like there would be on an equatorial mount. So you can just plop it down outside and you're ready to go. Let's talk about some of the features and what comes with the telescope and show you a little bit more about it. The telescope comes with two eyepieces, a 25 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. So you've got your low power, the 25, and your higher power, the 10 millimeter, to zoom in on whatever object you're looking at. You also get a 90 degree diagonal, so when you're looking high in the sky, you're at a comfortable angle looking through. You don't have to climb underneath and, and, and bend your neck upwards. Finder scope on the side helps to aim the telescope. Um, a 70 millimeter like this can see all sorts of stuff. Uh, first of all, since it's a refractor, you get an upright image of the daytime view. Uh, it, it is a mirror image. When you use a standard star diagonal for, um, for a telescope like this, it's upright, but it's a mirror image. So if you're looking at uh, landscapes, boats on the bay, just buildings, hills, it probably doesn't matter. But just keep in mind, if you're trying to read the name of a boat out there, uh, it is going to be uh, backwards, left or right. It will be upright, however. The Main advantage of a refractor like this is nice, clean, high contrast images of the night sky. So when you're using that star diagonal for astronomy, you can see craters on the moon in nice sharp detail. You can see the rings of Saturn, moons around Jupiter. Um, 70 millimeters lets in enough light to see some of the brightest of the deep sky objects, but you're not going to be going after really faint, really faint galaxies. But Orion Nebula, easy with something like this. Uh, the Andromeda Galaxy, Star clusters like uh, the Pleiades or M13 and, and Hercules are, are excellent targets, provided you can get away from the city lights uh, to see those fainter things. Uh, but moon and planets, even in light polluted areas, are, are, are excellent with a scope of this size. And again, because it's a refractor, you can use this for the daytime viewing as well. If you had a reflector, the image is upside down and there's really no way to fix it. So that's just for the night sky. This serves dual purpose, daytime and night sky. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion Observer 2 70mm um, refracting telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.